some breaking news reaching us this afternoon. Police have informed us that four bodies have been found at the Seashells Cottage, once the home of the infamous Rag Dolly. The Rag Dolly was sent to the Willowvale Secure Unit when she was just 10 years old and has been there ever since. Police are not looking to make any further statement at this time and we will update you as soon as we can. What's this? What's what? What's what? What's this? Do you know what this is? Do you know what that is? It's a rag doll spear. The rag doll spear. That's been in all the papers. Is you and your mate setting me up here, mate? It's just an innocent prank. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh. Not funny at all, mate. You know they're obsessed with the rag dolly stuff. Is it, Dad? It's easy, do Ooh, Rag doll's coming for you. Stop it, it's not funny. <laughs> it's your, you and your mates winding me up. Did you hear that? Hear you what? Twig. There was no twigs. Ah. Don't be daft. Whoa. What was that noise? See, I told you, it's a twig. I'm going up. Go have up with one, but don't be long. I won't. You'll be fine, it's not even dark. Stop messing about, idiots. Are oh, you back? Anyhow, <laughs> how do you get back in here? Shit! Hiya. Hiya, my name's Jenna, I'm from The Reporter. Yeah, what's it about? Do you know where the family went after Kevin's death? Oh look, we haven't been in long and we're not interested. Guess not. Aren't you that author, Stephen Wilson? Big fan. Have you got a minute? Can 
just grab a quick run at your time off the record? No chance. Do you have any idea what the media have done to this area? These last eight months have been a flaming nightmare. They're sticking together. We're gonna have to dig a bit deeper. Okay, see you soon. Bye. The bodies of Sean and Neve Gale were found this morning in a garden in Willington. This comes weeks after police found the bodies of Jason Reed and his family at the famous Seashells Cottage, once owned by the Rag Dolly family. Police are appealing for anyone with any information to come forward as soon as possible. It broke my heart to lose you. This pain will never fade. A part of me went with you the day you went away. Our memories will last forever. I miss you all the time. But I have to stay strong, my dear. Your heart remains in mine. Loving you is easy. I do it every day. Yeah, just a bit. Seeing all those bodies. Just brought back all the memories. Right, I'm up to bed. Can you stay up too late? Okay, you stay. Okay. See you later. Valentine. So how are you now? Look at it a bit like, to be honest. Knife was this long, this long. He's again, oh my god. Whack it in the back there, three pints of blood. I thought game was over like. Do you mind if I take a picture? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. And um, not you, mate. <laughs> yeah. Jason, Ibby, oh. please get round the front. Now. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, okay. Need it round the front. Alright, mate, no problem. It's nightmare. Julie, we'll get back on the back door, yeah? Where's everyone gone? 
nice Halloween costume. Reports are coming in of two fatalities in the Hunwick area. Police are on the scene and we will update you as soon as we can. So it was definitely rag dolly, was it Jason? Yeah. yeah you sure? Yeah, absolutely. But it wasn't a clown no. dressing up as a... It have been. No, no, the way she whacked that spade, just, yeah, it had to be. Uh, going to be on our guard now. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, for him to take Ibby down like that, he's a big guy. He's a big guy. Chief Inspector? Hello? Can I just make a phone call? Make it quick. Thank you. Yeah, so... I've got a job for you. I'll tell you about it later on. Okay. Look, let's teach them a lesson and clear up the mess. No traces. It's just some joker in a Halloween costume trying to be Billy Big Bollocks. Chief Inspector Adrian Holmes Morris has called an urgent press conference at Bishop Auckland Football Club. We have two reporters on the scene and we will update you with more news this afternoon. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for attending this press conference. I'll read the formal statement and then afterwards I'll take any questions that you may have. Following incidents in the local area over the last few days, I am sad to report that there have been eight fatalities and four people seriously wounded. Eyewitness accounts have revealed that the key suspect in these incidents is known to the police and is in fact the rag dolly. If anyone has any information relating to these incidents, or indeed knows the whereabouts of the rag dolly, I would urge you to come forward immediately and contact your local police. On no account should you approach this person. She is an extremely dangerous individual. If you've got any questions, I'll take them now. Chief Inspector, as MP for Willington, can you please confirm what help you are giving to the people of my town? I mean, what are you going to do for my family, for my son? Thanks for your question, Carl. 
We already have extra patrols out on the streets and we have armed response units in the local vicinity should we need to draw on them immediately. Um, we are working on this 24-7 around the clock and we are hoping that we will detain the rag dolly very soon. The people of this area are scared Chief Inspector, what do you have to say to them? And as I've said, we have all available police units out there trying to find the rag dolly. I can't emphasise enough though that nobody should approach this person. She is very, very dangerous. Chief Inspector, we've got information that the rag dolly was released from a secure unit. She's been in for 20 years and at 30 years of age she's now been released. Why has she been released in knowing that she's a danger to society? No more questions. Chief Inspector, you need to answer the question. Alright? Yeah, um, I need a word with that Jenna and Dave from my reporter. Can you go and bring them down for me? Thanks for coming down. You both seem to know a lot more about this situation than your colleagues upstairs. I've got some information for you, but it has to stay off the record for now. It can't go to print. I don't want anything that might compromise this investigation. Oh, come on, Chief Inspector, that's a lot to ask. It's off the record, or I'll walk away, Jenna. Right, we'll take, we'll take it off the record. Okay. We know where Rag Dolly is going to be next Monday evening. And how do you know that? Because she left us this. Oh, wow. This is amazing. It's scary, but amazing. We won't say anything, but we want a full exclusive on this. That's fine. As long as you don't go to print, off the record for now, I'll send you the details this afternoon. Okay? Okay. Yeah. I'm tr putting my trust in you. Thank you. Our undercover team is patrolling the grounds right now, looking for any sign of Rag Dolly. I hope he's not wandering around outside. Right, when Rag Dolly gets here, we need to be ready. Okay, that's why I'm asking to come on, Jason, because you know the layout. We went to Helen back last February yeah. when we were here before. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Jenna, thanks for coming. Okay, I've put my faith in you to report on this, but please don't wander off. You've got to stay close. Okay? Yeah, thank you. So, Ragdolly? We're going to need backup. Yeah, okay. Jason, check the doors, check the windows. Okay, make it secure. Yeah. I can't believe this is happening again. Yeah. Did 
just need to get away as far as you can, as quick as you can. Okay? Got to keep you safe. Okay. I'll be in touch. Bye. Bye. Send the back up now. We need it now. Chloe, there's a letter there for a stair seat. I've left it on the top because I don't know who it is. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Leave it with me. It's your turn. Frustration